Bismillah, Salatu Wassalam, Rasulullah. Okay, let's continue. We'll continue the session about Megatron. Uh, what we have here, we start with the code of the ALU. In the code of the ALU, we can uh, spot the switch instruction in the code. The switch instruction is the equivalent of the, uh, how we call that, uh, the multiplexer, the multiplexer. Uh, um, in the course, in the lecture of the digital design, we can see here, I hope you have uh, this course. Uh, I explained the last time the way how to design uh, the RU and gives you the choice to choose whatever RU you want. Uh, after I talked to you, you, you said you choose the, uh, the, the Megatron RU. The Megatron RU is this. This is, this is uh, 74181. It's not a very easy uh, RU to use. It's quite difficult to use this RU. This is the RU. This is the hardware, real RU. And you have this table. Can you see this table? Can you see this? This is a table of function of this RU. It's pretty complicated. Can you see it? Yes. Anyway, we have all the functions there. Uh, exactly, you will need only eight functions. You don't need to implement uh, all the functions. You have the functions here, and we have uh, five bits to do the functions. To do the functions, you have uh, M. Uh, you can choose M uh, like H, high or low, and you can do. Uh, all the operation you need. You have the, uh, the, the addition, for instance, is there. The addition, you have, you have many uh, operations. Anyway, it's not the, uh, the, the, the simplest RLU to do. We will talk about that, we will talk about that. Anyway, in the course, we have this concept of how internally uh, an RLU works. In the course, we have uh, the, the, the structural uh, the structural composition of the ALU inside the, the ALU. We have this in the uh, in the uh, TD problem set and the TD TDs. We have uh, this this uh, no it's not this sorry this one this one. I know you can see that or, or not. Facility TD page six. We have a global a global scheme. A global scheme on how you can design any ALU you want. Okay, the, 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 the switch you are talking about is this multiplexer, this big multiplexer, to choose between those, those functions you want to implement. If I see the code again, you have those. Three values. Okay, it's different from uh, this. Is different. Yeah, you choose a different code from the code of the uh, seventy-four eighty-one. The code are different. If you can see, for, for instance, the addition is this, and they have a special table for that. I remember we we uh, we constructed a special table. I I hope I will find it. I think it's there. I think this is the pattern. Yes, this is the pattern used. I don't remember. This is. I think this is. I don't exactly remember. Mix. No, no. This is the pattern of the uh, Gigatron. Okay, where is the Megatron? You construct Megatron part. No. Yes, they are here. They are the command, the command, sorry, the command of the uh, the ALU 74181. Uh, Can you see that? Can you see that? Can you? Okay. We have, for instance, the load. The first instruction is called is this one. 10, 10, M equal 10, and CN equal to 1. 
etc. And we have the end, the or, the xor, the sub, the, the st, the st. And we have the last one. The last one is the bcc. The bcc is uh, a minus one. Uh, ah, okay. Why it is what? Why it was? Uh, uh, normally, it should be a minus a. If I remember that for st, we have to test if it's equal to zero or not. If I remember that. If you remember what we talked about that, we talked about that the last time. We said that uh, we have the RU, we have all the signals, and we have the CO plus the plus the uh, the commands and uh, at the same time okay let's see the uh, the the logicine control list the uh, you started with the alu you started with the alu and the others the uh, for instance uh, the uh, the registers and the counters uh, uh, was you able to create them? Okay, Megatron, you choose Megatron. And we have uh, those commands. We have six. We have six for the uh, 74181. Where is it? It's there. It's there. This is the RU. The RU return this this pin. I I I, th I think the value of uh, the Megatron is pretty quite difficult. It's not easy to, to use. We have this uh, output a equal one. This is the equivalent of uh, this. There it is. This is equivalent to uh, equal to zero. This is when uh, we do minus a uh, to verify uh, if. Uh, uh, the accumulator is equal to zero or not. Do you remember that? Do you remember that? I can't hear you. Sorry, I can't, we can't hear you. you, can't, you can you can type please. Okay, and you did the BCC. The result is A. M is equal to zero. CN is equal to one. Gets zero, gets one. What is this? I don't know. We have the add. Makes sense. But those are input, I guess. C N and M are inputs, no? Okay, we have A, we have B, we have the result, we have a logic logic one. Okay, okay. Inputs. They are not outputs. They are inputs. M and C uh, C N is output. M is uh, you did a mistake here. It's an input. I'm sure about that. Okay, let's be let's be sure. Let's be. Uh, let's verify that. The the M is an input. Uh, is there? The M is the the sixth, thirty-sixth, sixth bit. Uh, uh, to uh, to command to command the RU. You can choose the the, the logic operation, the, the arithmetic operation, and the logic operation. You have two mod. This M means mod, mod logic, or mod arithmetic. The, 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 here they are the, the, they are put in the code as an input uh, uh, sorry as an output they should be an input uh, and I, uh, I have to be uh, honest with you it's difficult this value it's difficult you can see the table it's your choice it's your choice you can choose whatever you want the table is it's not simple look at this table it's very big what we need what you actually need only eight operations we need only eight operations. 
We explained the last time the operations. If you, uh, if you can implement those operations uh, like this, this way, this is the simplest one. This way, this way. This is what is done on exercises, sorry, on exercises six uh, in the TD series at page six. At, at, at this exercise, we explain the, the, uh, the global idea on how we can construct an ILU. It's a very good uh, exercise. If you can do that, you can create your ILU. I'm sure about that. If you choose the path of, uh, if you choose to, the path of constructing the, the, the Megatron ILU, it's difficult. It's difficult. It's your choice, but but uh, but when I saw your code, it's not correct actually. It's not correct. You have to change it. You have to change it. This this is uh, the CN. We can understand the CN is is the carry. The CN. This TN. The CN is the carry. But at the same time, the carry here we have two kind of carries. We have. Uh, the, this one carry is like an input. This carry is CN. It's the what? How we call that? The carry in. The carry in. It is an input. It's an input. Uh, and it has a different interpretation from the RU used in Gigatron. In Gigatron, we don't have the say in. We don't use the say in. If you remember uh, well, we don't have a say in here. We have five uh, uh, commands, uh, functions, the, the, the five bits for the choosing the function of the R. You have only five. It's different. Gigatron is different. G Gigatron uh, to command is simplest than the uh, 7480 uh, 181. But the country, the construction of the ALU of the, the Gigatron is more difficult. The, the, the construction, I mean, you have to dif differentiate between how to command and how to, con con how to uh, construct the ALU. The, the, the most simplest uh, ALU to construct is one of the uh, Megatron, but the one more difficult to command is of, Giga of Megatron. Of, uh, of, uh, of Megatron. Gigatron is more difficult to construct. Megatron is more difficult to command. Anyway, anyway, uh, you have three commands here. You don't need uh, CN. CN has uh, a special interpretation in 74181 to create, uh, to recreate uh, the ALU of Megatron, the 74181. Uh, 181 you have to uh, to know how to use CN CN is in the most you can choose this document if you want but CN it's actually uh, always one it depends it depends it has his uh, interpretation I can give you the code here I can give you this file I will give you this file if you uh, if you choose to create a nilu uh, like the 74181 but it's difficult the simplest one is to do that is to do is to do that this is the simplest one this is the simplest one but you have one thing to take in consideration you have to change the input of the cu uh, sorry, the output of the CU. Why? The difference, it's not difficult. The difference, it's not a big difference. Uh, if, you, if we look, for instance, is uh, at this Megatron CU, we can say that those six bits are the bits for controlling the audio. Six, you have six. You have six. In the Gigatron, Where's Gigatron? Gigatron is here. In Gigatron, you have, where are they? You have normally five. You have five. AR0, AR1, 2, 3, AL. You have a five. If you want to create 
this one this one you will need only three you will need only three you have to choose you have to choose anyway the the, the uh, <coughs> what we can say here you have the opcode input in uh, three bits mm. uh, in three bits uh, you have here the, 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 the a on four b on four the result on four and you have the m is as an input it's an input if the operation is arithmetic or logic and you have the cn is an input too this is a carry in this is a carry in it's not a carry out a carry in this is a carry in la retenue précédente comme je sharah dans le cours تاعي كنت نسميها la retenue précédente عندها معنى واحد اخر ماشي la retenue suivante so c'est une entrée it's an input it's an input yes the, the, these are inputs they are not outputs the results here it's 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 okay it's uh, the, the the bcc it's not a i guess the bcc uh, should be minus a no the bcc should be minus a uh, if you remember what we did uh, okay okay i can't hear you okay what have you to say Yes. A minus one. Yes, a minus one. Uh, it's uh, about the uh, the seventy four one eighty one. This is not what we did the last time. This is specific. This is specific. Why? Uh, because you have a carry in also equal to one you have an additional one already added so i'm going to add one with the carry in here how do you do it? how do you do it? i minus one but i'll put it in zero it's possible because you don't use it it's difficult this is how we use it we use it to program it it's actually difficult how do you do it? it's a lot of functions يا بزاف في فونكسيون ايه خدمت تاعك سامبل مره خدم كيما نقولوا تجيك خمس خطرات ولا خطرات بلي سامبل عليه هذه كنت تخدم اليو اي ال تاعك خدم اليو اي ال تاعك كيما وسمو ايه خدم اليو اي ال تاعك تجيك خلصتها تقريبا دير كيلكو موديفيكاسيون برك كيما تاع الكور كيما تاع لا سيري دي اكزيرسيس تاع الكور تاع الكور اللي شارح كيفاه اللي شارح كيفاه تمشيها وفي لا سيري تي دي شارح كيفاه تخدمها شوف كيفاه شوف لا سيري تيري لا سيري تي دي اي خدمها من ثم خدمها من ثم دوك تجيك اسهل شنو عندك موديفيكاسيون وحده برك لي كود تاعها يوليو عندك ثلاثه برك ما يوليش عندك سته كيما هذه فهمتني كيفاه شفت هذوك نعرف هذو ها هذو هنا هنا عندنا سته في الميجاترون وعندنا خمسه في الجيجاترون باسكو سون كومبليكي تتحق غير ثلاثه ليه باسكو عندك غير فونكسيون لي فونكسيون تاعك تما انت اللي خيرتهم شغل سبيسيفيك ما تحقش الفونكسيون الاخرين زياده هذو كيما راهم فيهم دي فونكسيون زياده ما تحقهمش تا اه تسمى نخدم غير الثاني غير فوالا تخدم غير تحت الجهه اوكي اي دونت نو اف يو هاف اذر كويشنز اور ا ديد يو Program the. Uh, 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 did you know how to program a register, for instance, the registers counters? Uh, yes. You you did. You programmed registers and. Uh, the, the, okay, that's good. Counters, PC, for instance, PC. Program counter. Did you program it? Or the X register. The X register also is a counter. Yes. That's good. That's good. Uh, yes, yeah, it's a counter. It's a counter. Uh, I have also one important uh, remark I forgot about the ALU. You, you, you have you have you have to create uh, to create ALU on eight bits. 
on 8 bit here, on 8 bit. Because in this case, you created a, a small one. If you remember in Megatron, you will need two circuits put together, one uh, on 4 bit, the other on 4 bit, and we have to uh, reassemble them together to create a, one on, one on 8 bit. In, the, in your situation, you will need only one directly to program on a one on eight bit. On eight bit, you need to put eight here. Uh, also, uh, what about the uh, the uh, the CU? The CU is difficult. The CU is not easy to program. Did you start it the, the or did you uh, think about uh, how to create the CU, for instance? Not yet. Yeah. The CU is difficult. The CU is difficult. It's more difficult than ALU. The ALU is pretty easy. You can, uh, but but you have to uh, create a special CU. Your CU would be different from uh, from the uh, Megatron CU and Gigatron CU. It's different. Why is different? Because you have it's different in uh, in the ALU functions. Because you have different codes. For the operations, do you understand me? Uh, sorry, I can't hear you. Can you repeat, please? Ah, uh, different. I could move to the file. Let's sort it out. URL. You are because you have only three. You have to program them differently. فهمت كيفاه؟ نكون نشوفوا بار اكزومبل هنا ها سنشوف اف وي انالايز ذا سي يو اوف وير از ات اوف جيجا ترون فور انستنس ليتس سي ذا جيجا ترون اف وي وات وي ديد ذا لاست تايم ذا ديفرنس از هير اوف ذيس فايف اوت بوت كان يو سي ذيم I told you the last time, and the last time I explained it. The last time I explained it, this is a combinational circuit. Those five um, OR gate, they are a combinational circuit. This combinational circuit is responsible for uh, taking the code of the operation of the instruction and output the correspond Per the corresponding uh, ALU function code. For instance, if you choose LD in this situation, the code output is this. Uh, AR2 and uh, AR3 are fired, are fired. Can you understand that? Or should I repeat it? Yes. Yes, in your, in your situation, you will need only three outputs. Three output, and I think it's what? Three uh, outputs. Yes, only three. You, you know why? Are very clear? Eight, uh, very good. Eight operations, eight instruction, eight operation. Each instruction has its own operation. It's become very easy. It's become very easy. I uh, even I can tell you before you study that that the combinational circuit is something we did already. We already studied it. You have to, to, to see that by yourself. I can tell you that. This is your job. You have to try to analyze it to create the, the corresponding uh, combination of segments, but you will see. We will see the last, the next time. We will see that this uh, combination of circuit is something that you you already know. This is not uh, a new combination of circuits. It's it's something that you already know. Anyway, I I uh, I will let you study it and try to construct it. Uh, we have another uh, another difficult part here. 
is uh, it's not difficult. Did you find the way on how to create the RAM and the ROM uh, in Chisel? Can you program? Can you program those uh, those two components, the RAM and the ROM? Did you find the way to program them? Yes, you f you find the where, you find how to program them. You know how. Yes. Very good, very good. Then it's uh, yes, it's become very simple. You see, you see that the uh, the program is it, it's pretty simple to program uh, an ILU, for instance. It's very simple to create uh, an ILU like we did uh, on Gigatron. It was very difficult. It's not. It, it wasn't so easy to create the RU here for instance you can see that it's difficult it's difficult to create it you have to check any wire all the wires here to create the RU it was really difficult on the uh, on the gigatron it was more difficult than that on gigatron this is the uh, the schematics this is the schematics this is more difficult this is more difficult it's totally different uh, on how you conceive or you design the digital hardware on a high level language and on a low level language like this. This is low level language by using uh, gates. This is this is different. This is different. You have uh, it's more easy to program in Chisel uh, to write in Chisel than to construct using uh, using gates. Okay, we have the RAM, good, good, location, each of, uh, yes, very good, this is the RAM, very good. We have the right, yes, address, data path, very good. We have the read, yes, very good, very good. That was very good. It was very easy too. It was very easy. Yes, you have on the right path. You have just to continue uh, to continue. What are you doing? You are doing the. You are just writing the uh, the hardware, and I think you will finish. To, you will finish it soon, inshallah. Anyway, I think you. Uh, it's uh, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, I don't know if you have questions of, of the RU, uh, for instance, or other thing, if you uh, if you want. Sir, uh, yes. How, how can I connect the connection of this uh, mm -hmm. uh, It's uh, is the in the. Uh, what is the language? The language is uh, Scala. This is a call of objects in Scala. Scala is oriented uh, object uh, language. You have the classes here. You define the classes. You have to create objects. And uh, the, uh, the connection is a call of method of the, those objects. This is the idea. This is the idea. Yes, it's, it's just a call of uh, object method. It's it's a, it's a um, uh, oriented object programming language. Is is like you program with Java. Yes, this is the idea. This is the idea. It's pretty simple. It's not difficult. It's it's yes. It's you have created uh, you have created objects. Each object has uh, uh, functions or uh, methods, and you will call them. With a passing argument. With passing argument. Yes. Do you have other questions? Yes. Yes. It's 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 more simpler. Yeah, and also I saw the way you program. 
سمع شفت خدمتك the way you program it's more uh, it's more adequate to use the one that we studied in uh, in the in the lectures in the lectures okay we finished Do you have other thing or you can stop? You can stop here? Yes. Yeah. It's uh it's sixty five six sorry, sixty four K. Sixty four K each uh, cell is of 16 bits each cell is of 16 bits and the, if you remember each cell is divided in two parts we have uh, the opcode of the instruction plus uh, on 8 bits the data of the uh, instruction some, instru some instructions uh, have their own data their own data and it depends on the uh, the instruction, but it depends on the instruction. But the instruction, the, the, the data of the instruction could be a value, an immediate, or even an address, or even an address. Okay. The RAM, and we have the ROM here. Imports, Gisel imports. Module extend, okay, bundle, we have PC, very good, capture input assuming 16-bit address, okay, define two 8-bit outputs for E, R, and D, okay, you have two different outputs, yes, yes, okay, and you fill the the uh, the, uh, the meme or the contents with uh, okay that's very good that's very good and you have a word from contents fetch yes very good very good yes it was that this is the way to define the drop yes this is it's very good it's very good. Okay, do you have other questions? In the output, yes. In the ROM. Yes. Uh, eight bits. First eight bits go uh, to the register E N. Yes. The first the first uh, bits are the opcodes. Okay, let's verify that. You have to be sure. I have to be sure about that. I don't exactly remember that, but. The, 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 there is always uh, one way to be sure about those uh, informations is the uh, electronic schematics electronic schematics are there and uh, we can verify here okay we can verify here this is the clock and this is uh, the run we have uh, the RAM, and we have, uh, we can see here, okay, I will zoom, one minute, we can zoom here, this is the way we did the last time, the, the, we did uh, the last year, we have uh, the ROM. this is the ROM, and we have the outputs, we have, uh, uh, where are they? D0, D1, T2, they are the, this is the first, the first 8 bit, and they goes to, okay, let's see, they goes here, they goes 
to the control unit instruction register this is uh, this is here this is here and you have uh, the others one we have uh, d8 d9 d10 etc they goes uh, to uh, data register they goes uh, to data register if you um, if you are not sure about uh, the order of the bits or something or, or some details like this you have to choose to, to, to verify the schematics the the the, the uh, how we call we call that the the electronic schematics electronic schematics and I was uh, also I wanted also to uh, give you the audio code if you need them I don't know if you uh, if you have to need them where are they the uh, yes the uh, audio command the conversion Yes, you have to verify the schematics. You can't be sure about anything you want. Anyway, the first uh, eight bits are for the opcode, are for the opcode, and the, the the others are for the uh, data. Can you repeat, please? I can't hear you. Yes. In. No, no, counter. What? It's a counter. It's exactly. It's counter. But it's a counter. But you have uh, to understand that each counter can be used as a register too. The counter you you can uh, okay. Let's explain. I will draw uh, schematics here, and I will try to explain three D. Okay, each counter can be used at the same time as a register. Let's suppose we have this counter. Have a uh, we have a counter. This is our counter, for instance. We have a counter. We have the input of the counter. We have uh, the output on the counter. Let's uh, suppose uh, we choose uh, to use a 4 bit counter. 4 bit counter. 4 bit counter. You have the command of write a new value. And you have the command of increment. Increment, uh, I will uh, call it plus plus to so increment. Plus plus to so increment. And you have uh, the, uh, the option to overwrite a new value. For instance, if you have uh, to put the value 5, for, uh, for instance, you have to put 1 here to wait uh, for the clock, for the rising age of the clock. And this value. We enter this uh, counter. If you don't increment it, if you put zero here, for instance, the value will not change, uh, and you can get get it from here. This way, the counter is used like a register. This way, this is exactly the same way on how you use a register. This way, if you don't increment, you don't change the value of five. It is used like a register. And this is uh, the way X is used here. X is used as a register, but uh, you have the possibility to increment in some specific instructions. Sir, uh, yes? So, uh, sometime uh, save it, uh, this value. Yes. And uh, sometimes uh, increment. Uh, Yes, you, ha you, you, can say, you, you, you can save it like a register. The, 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 the main operation of the register is to save values. The counter do that. PC, for instance. P 
PC, you can give a new value of PC to jump. This is a new value. And th this new value, you can uh, save it if you don't increment. If you don't increment, if you put zero here, this five value is saved. It's saved. It's, it's, it's the, ma the main behavior uh, as a register. It's like a register. If you register, you can increment it. D'accord? But you have always this option to increment. If you have to increment, the, 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 uh, in our situation, the X is uh, mainly used as a register. That means we don't increment its value only in one uh, specific addressing mode. If you remember, you have the addressing mode of... Uh, I don't remember exactly the addressing mode. Okay, let's check this. Uh, let's check the... Uh, this PDF we have the addressing mode when you increment the X this one this one the last addressing mode why yeah, X plus plus out only in this in this uh, address mode we have to increment otherwise if you choose for instance this one X is not incremented this one, X is not incremented. Can you see that? The X yes, is, only, is only incremented with this addressing mode. With the last addressing mode. This is the only way. And I told you about that. This instruction is specific and it uh, was designed solely to be used in the VGA display. This increment represents an increment uh, when you browse the array. When you parkour and tableau. When tableau tenant is equal to the ecran. The ecran is a tableau. The the VGA, the VGA is the display. The VGA is the display. It's the ecran. And it uh, internally is considered like uh, an array. Comme, comme un tableau, on sait plus, plus. C'est considéré comme un tableau. Chaque cellule elle représente un, un point, un pixel, un pixel. And this instruction was specific design, had more special. Elle a l'opération ici. C'est ma belle, il regarde sur le, qui me dit sur l'image, il regarde sur l'image. Did you understand that? Okay, very good. Very good. It's, it's very simple. X in the in the usual uh, usage like this, this one for instance, or this one, the X is not incremented and it's used like a simple register, a simple register. But in a specific addressing mode, uh, X have to be incremented, have to be incremented, and it's used like a, an, uh, like. A, like a counter, like a counter. Okay, do you have other questions?
you have questions sir uh, in a program uh, concept yes isma uh, way the h bits from the upper uh, the register uh, y yes From data bus, yes, this is it. Uh, can you repeat, please? This is this is the concatenation. They they are assembled together. You have the y, the value of the y, and the value of the bus. They are put all together. If you can see the scam here, they are put all together, and they are written. They are written on the on the PC. By this way, you will get another value on the output. They, are, they change the internal uh, old address. I will uh, try to demonstrate that uh, with the schematics. If we have, for instance, if we have, for instance, <coughs> this is our PC. I will uh, draw it uh, vertically. We have our PC. Our PC is 16 bits. And we have uh, this one gets a new value from bbus bbus or dbus how how, it, how this bus was called the bu this bus was called data bus sorry dbus <coughs> we get We get a value from uh, D bus and we get a value from Y, from Y register, from my register. But you have to understand that this is a counter. This is the counter. This operation of updating the value of PC, of changing the value of PC with the DBus and Y register is only done on branches, on branch instructions. It's not always the case. The normal case is that the PC contain an address and each period of the clock, this value of the address will increment. For each period, for each coming rising age, you increment. This is the normal use. But in the uh, branch instructions, it's different. You have to change the value of the PC. And you have to understand that you have two main scenarios. You have two main scenarios. You have the first one when you choose to take a short jump if you remember what is a short jump a short jump you don't change the upper part this is the upper part the upper part don't change the only uh, thing that change is uh, that change is the lower part is the lower part and the value comes from d bus the, the value comes from d bus when uh, you have to execute uh, a far jump in this situation in this instruction the PC will be changed the value of the PC will be changed by a new address this new address is concatenated is assembled by the value of Y plus the value of D you have to put those two bits together to get the new address to get the new address do you understand that? This, uh, if you remember, the Y would represent the page address 
and the uh, the, the debugs will, will represent the offset inside the, this page, the, uh, the offset address of this uh, page. This is the idea. This is the idea of how to uh, change the PC. And you have to remember, changing a PC means that you are you are doing a jump instruction for the near jump. You have to change only the lower part for uh, far jump you have to change both Fizuch, you have to change both do you understand that yes okay very good Yes. Can you see uh, my code? Of? Uh, products on uh, program counter. Program counter, the synchronous reset with the clock and reset. This is program counter. We have a register. Uh, it was declared as a register. Yes. And called uh, PC reg. With the clock and reset. Yes. Loading the logic. When uh, uh, load high. Cut. Cut is the conc concatenation function. This is concatenation. Concatenation means you have to assemble two, two parts. In, in this uh, in this part, it's called cat. It's for concatenation. It's for concatenation. You have to concatenate the Y register with uh, the PC Y data register with uh, PC reg loading a high bit from reg Y. Okay. Else when. Load low cuts. No, uh, uh, otherwise, you increment. Um, okay, and in this part, you have to understand the commands, you have to implement those commands. You can see the schematics. We have those four commands. We have the clock, we have the reset, we have the PL, and we have the PH. PL means, uh, if I remember well, what is PL? PL means, uh, okay, PL means, uh, PL is the writing, is the right command. To write a new value, PL, is the way to write in a new value. PL is writing the low part. The low part is uh, the low part is represented by those two uh, counters, uh, uh, each one on four bits, and we have the PH, the high part. The high part is implemented by those two circuits. The 74161. 74161. And if we see, if we see the data path, we have, uh, sorry, the data sheet, uh, we have uh, the commands are represented in this table, if I remember well. well we have a table of commands. Where is it? Okay, we have load, clear, clock. What is it? The output, the input, the enable part. No. We just remember the uh, 
have clear, we have load. Load, this is the right. We call that load. They don't remember that. Have the load, see clear. What is this? Uh, We have the reset. Reset is uh, the the initialization. And we have uh, okay, and we have the P L and P H. P L and P H are the uh, the command for writing a new value. This is the write. This is the write command. Uh, and the write has to be done. On two parts, we have the, the the writing of the lowest part, and we have the writing on the highest part. Part in the code, what do we have here? With clock and reset. Yes, you have you have these two inputs, one for the reset, and one for the clock. But uh, I guess you have to define what is a reset. Sixteen bits. Reset is the input a boolean. The clock is the clock. You have to define what is a reset. The reset should put. You have a reset should put the PC register to zero. This is what is a reset. Do you understand what is a reset? A reset when you activate this command reset, the the counter should be should be put to zero and you have to add that in your code there is no research part did you forget it or uh, i don't know this is no reset okay you have to add that you have to add the reset the reset when is activated you ha have to put the uh, the register the sorry the counter to zero and you have uh, that input data path, the, uh, the data bus and the register Y, and we have uh, load high, load low, load low. Okay. On a boolean, this uh, this command load high and load and uh, load low are this, are PL and PH. And we have a PC out, PC out, it contain 16, 16, uh, 16 bits. I prefer, it's, it's my opinion. Which part? What? Which part uh, using, use the reset? The reset? زم ديرو هنا مع الكور تاع مع لي سي جيت لي كنت كنت تيست ديال اف 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 وان اكسيترا يو هاف تو تيست ذا ريسيت اند 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 ات از ذا فير ذا ذا هاو وي كول ذات ذا موست برايوريتايزد كوماند ذيس از ذيس شود بي ذا فيرست تيست هير وين نوت ذيس از ذا فيرست اف when if reset it's equal to one you have to put pc to zero pc register to zero else when hey let's not give it zero the reset reset can you activate it doesn't give the the counter came not zero else when if else else uh, else when or if else now we will continue the others uh, stuff the other stuff, what do we have? When load high, you have to put cat. What is cat? What is the meaning of cat? It's between HBC and the register. Hmm. Hmm. So it has the value that is present in the register. It's added to it. Put it in the PC register. Okay. That's it. Hmm. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, I don't remember that. I'm not sure. But this is the, the, the operation. The operation if if load high, you have to put the value of reg y data to 
the lowest part of rig. It is the operation. The cat, I'm not sure about that. Yeah, to be uh, to be uh, to be fair, I don't remember that. I'm not sure. Cat, I thought it was concatenation. I don't remember exactly. But the uh, you have to get the uh, the operation. The operation is to put this value here. You have to put this value here. Else when, if uh, uh, it's not correct, it's not correct. Uh, in this situation, you the the coupled the two operation. You can't uh, in 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 the case you have in the case you have uh, uh, PL and PH activated at the same time. If you do this, what is it? If else when uh, else when and else when if my children if else so if else. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. You have to do what you have to change. What you have to change this. If if you you have if you have to you have to add the two if in parallel. If uh, or when a load high is activated, you do that. But machine else when there, there another when you have to add another when and a, a second when if uh, load low you do this. You do this affectation. Other else, otherwise, yes, yes. They are always activated uh, twice when we do a far jump, if you remember that. If you do the far jump, if you remember, you have a schematics here. I have to bring up the schematics. In this situation, if you remember the CU, we studied this. If you do a far jump, they are always uh, uh, the two activated in this uh, or if you remember this or is responsible to activate the two PL plus PH if you remember you remember that if you do if you do a far, uh, a far jump you have to update the low part of the PC and the high part at the same time but in the near jump you have only to update the lower part and you have to manage this in your code. You have to manage this. Your code is not correct here. Your code is taking only one case. It's not, uh, how we call that? It's not, uh, if and bricky, if on parallel. It's not uh, embedded if, it's not an embedded if. You have to separate between the two tests. And the last one, Overrise means three conditions. We have no load low, we have no high load, and we have no receipt. This is the last one. In this case, you have to increment. Do you understand that? Do you understand? Yeah. Hey, you have you have to understand one thing. Huh? This implementation, this interpretation, is a specific of the PC. PC, PC. If you uh, you will see X is different. X. It's also a counter, but you have to program it differently. You have to program to program it differently. You have to create a special uh, command input to increment. It's not like this. This uh, the PC increment uh, by default. If you have no uh, PL load, if you have no PH load, if you have no receipt, it will increment by default. X is different. X you have to create a special command to increment. Did you understand me? Yes. Uh, yes. yes. It's different, and you have to change this. And you have to change this. Uh, can I suggest uh, one different thing. One uh, last thing, you can separate the output. If you remember, the output is, our output is separated. 
We have 8 bits for the, the opcode and we have 8 bits for data. You can separate them here. If you want, it's not a big deal. But you can separate them, but, uh, whatever you want. Anyway, this, uh, this uh, if sequence is not correct. If uh, this if sequence is not correct, it's not uh, covering all the, uh, all the situations. We have many situations, we have three situations. If the uh, register is activated, uh, sorry, if the reset is activated, or if the low load activated or the high load activated. You have three, three possibilities. You have to re redesign, reprogram your uh, if sequence, if sequence. Okay, do you have questions? You have to stop here. You have the last questions. Have to go to pray. Uh, no, you finished, you finished. You have no questions. Okay, thank you very much. Barakallahu feek. Okay, next time, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.